Greetings, everyone. Well, it's that time again. I received a package. This was actually sent to me via UPS. Stupid bastards. <laughs> they, uh, they basically attempted delivery once. I received one notice, and it had... Usually they'll attempt delivery like two or three times and then give you a final notice or something like that. So on the notice, it had first attempt originally written in and then scribbled out, and then it just had final attempt scrolled in. So I don't know if the driver was just pissed off that day or what. So anyway, I had to trek across town to the UPS Depot, uh, which I did before work today, actually, and um, pick up the package, which thankfully, being a holiday for the past few days, they hold it for five business days. Uh, thankfully, it was still there. I was getting a little stressed about it, thinking, like, oh, no, I hope they don't send it back because I've had that happen with packages before, and it's really annoying. Um, yeah, anyway, this one is from Justin Looney, who is uh, a viewer and uh, chat room participant and Facebook participant. And, uh, yeah, so he said he had some cool stuff he wanted to send my way, and this is it, and we're going to open it up today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, well, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it here. Uh, I don't seem to have my package opening or... I uh, don't mind all the boxes back there. I'm in the process of reorganizing the living room, as usual. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm just going to take down the Halloween display because it's almost January. Yeah, and uh, just have the normal DVD background for reviews and stuff so let me see uh, what we got here this is all over the map I'm not sure where to open it oh here we go hold a second um, is, oh this is the uh, oh, really should have got the box cutter I guess I'm just gonna rip and tear and shred and use my my manliness to open it, yes. Manliness is so manly and full of man stuff. Okay. Get the, get the invoice out here. So. <coughs> there. Okay. Set that aside. And, oh no, it's this stuff. This stuff gets everywhere. Alright, let's try to try to open it up without making a huge mess. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, see what we got here. Okay, I think we're in. Alright, there we go. Uh, genuine dust from afar. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got a few items in here. We have... Okay. And by the way, um, <laughs> so I was just reading this here. Um, do, 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 do. Yes. Since I don't have a YouTube channel for the purposes of your title card, feel free to use my Skype and AIM screen name, Lunifer888. Very good. Um, I didn't realize you didn't have a YouTube page. I guess you've been commenting only through the Facebook page all this time, and I was just too wrapped up in myself to realize that. Wow, I could have sworn you had a YouTube page. All right. So says, feel free to mention my real last name, if only for the lulls. Yes, Looney is his actual last name. That's not a moniker. I know it sounds like a moniker, like a, a screen name, but it isn't. It's actually his actual name. So we do have... Ah, oh, very nice. Very nice. He mentioned that there's spoilers below and folded the paper very carefully. Okay, so let's read up to the uh, spoiler warning. Dear Sean, Happy Holidays. I hope you enjoy the generic Microsoft Word clip art holiday border that surrounds these words. There you go. Very nice. Christmas trees. How original. Ha ha. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. You make everything, give everything that personal touch. Um... 
This is my first package and I'm excited to impart some great holiday gifts unto you. I don't have a YouTube channel to promote, but I do have a hilarious name, so feel free to place my name on the screen so everyone can have a laugh. Here it is! Everybody laugh! <laughs> Justin Looney. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay. So, I don't... Have a laugh. Yes, that's my real last name. I originally planned to send more things to you, like Wolverine and the X-Men on Blu-ray, but luckily I emailed you beforehand and was told that you recently picked it up yourself. Not that you're not incredibly busy already, but when you find the time... A hilarious expression, I know. An updated Blu-ray DVD list would help those of us wanting you to send you things without giving away the secret to you. Yes, I know. One of these days, I will sit down and get my DVD AF page up to date. It's, it's. I don't think I've actually fully updated it, like completely, since 2009. So yeah, a lot has changed since then. Uh, sold a lot of stuff. I think I pulled off most of the stuff that I sold, um, and I did go through my wish list on there recently. And uh, anything on the wish list that I had since acquired, or things that I, you know, was looking at different editions of since putting the previous editions on there, um, I moved. So I moved to the owned list and things like that. So um, that's another reason I've been doing the updates uh, as well, is to sort of keep everybody up to date on what I've got recently, especially if they're like you looking to send me stuff uh, to try to help avoid duplicates and whatnot. Uh, it says, below I'll list the various gifts, so don't read ahead so you can be surprised. I've wrapped each of them in gift wrap, it being the holidays and all. They're also numbered, so go in order. Okay, so we'll read the last part of the letter thereafter. And let's take a look. What do we got here? So we have two, feels like. I don't know if I can count all the way to two. <laughs> we'll just double check here, make sure. Oh, no, there's a little one here. Okay. Number three, obviously, to be opened first. No. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to set this down very carefully. Because it's this sort of shredded newsprint filling, I want to be careful not to get it all over the place, so we'll just throw it haphazardly over there. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um... <coughs> all righty, so number one. From Kal-El to Zaranizarak. I'm guessing something um, Green Hornet related, right? That, that That's who Kal-El is, right? No. Of course I know it's Superman. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Being Superman, it could be just about anything. There's so much Superman stuff out there. And I think the only Superman thing I have is a collection of the old uh, Max and Dave Fleischer shorts, which is really good. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I have never seen a single episode of this. We have the complete first season of Justice League. This on Blu-ray, no less. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you so much. 26 episodes on three discs. Tons of extras. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. I keep holding out hope that we'll get Batman the Animated Series on Blu-ray. Like... What are they waiting for? Dig out the film prints, make it happen, you know? Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. This is something I'm really going to enjoy because I have never seen any episodes of this. I completely missed it when it was on. And uh, I know a lot of people really, really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, wow. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. That's a most welcome addition to the, uh, to the DC Comics animated library which is fantastic. All right, so next we have from B. Wayne to Zarin Izarak. Ah, so this one is um, uh, Wayne. Where's Wayne? From? Wayne's World, right? It's Wayne's World? No, okay. All right, enough with the lame jokes. I think I might know what this one is. I think you might have given this one away to me, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> and... No, this is something else. Eh, season 2 <laughs> of Justice League. Fan-freaking-tastic. I have had my eyes on these and thinking, like, oh, yeah, Justice League on Blu-ray. I should totally get those. So there we go. Justice League, seasons 1 and 2 on 
freaking Blu-ray. How cool is that? Oh, man. Thank you so much, Justin. That is fantastic. So that, that's kind of odd. Okay, so this one is 26 episodes on three discs. And this one is 26 episodes on two discs. Odd. I wonder why they reduced the number of discs. That seems like a lot of episodes to cram on two discs, but mind you, being a half hour each and Blu-rays having tons and tons of space, I guess that's okay. Weird. So they got, uh, so let's see what we got here for extras. Um, on season one, we have creator's commentary on three key episodes. Inside Justice League, a creator's panel discussion. Storyboards, the blueprint for justice. The look of the league, character design. Justice League, the first mission, never before seen promo. And the Blackhawk theme, music video. Very cool. And then uh, on season two, we have all new featurette, Infinite Realities, The Justice Lords and Beyond, Voices of Justice, Look, Up in the Sky, Creator's Commentary on three key episodes, a, del a deleted scene, so there's one whole entire deleted scene for the full 26 episode season, <laughs> uh, Justice League Declassified, Phil Lamar, the voice of Green Lantern, takes you behind the scenes with the show's creative team. Very cool. Well, let's uh, let's quickly crack these open here, and we'll take a take a quick peek inside, shall we? Uh, gonna open them up. There we go. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for using easy to remove shrink wrap. That's very nice. You know what I hate is when you get like a DVD or a Blu-ray, and the shrink wrap is like hot glued to the spine, like they they had the heater up too high when they were putting the shrink wrap on or something, and it. Just ended up sticking to the spine. <laughs> yes, for for use only with Blu-ray disc players. Oh, is that what you play Blu-rays on? I didn't know that. You mean it won't work in my CD player? Can can I play these in my Sega CD? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. So we'll just take the old security sticker off. One thing I like about the um, Blu-rays is with the security stickers, at least the ones on top, is they're on the Blu-ray bar, so you don't really get the um, uh, thingy. You, you don't like uh, dig into the you know the plastic of the the uh, cover at all, which is annoying with uh, DVDs when that happens. Okay, so let's check this out here. Just uh, spin the discs around so they're all more or less straight. So if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, a lot of the same voice cast that was in Batman the Animated Series and Superman the Animated Series. Um, so here we have the three discs. Very nice. It's Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And then we do have an insert. It's quite nice. Uh, you know, remember to keep your firmware up to date. Speaking of which, I should probably update mine. I haven't updated in about a year. So here we have a nice little insert booklet that gives you a disc by disc breakdown of which episodes are on which disc. Very nice indeed. And there you go. That is Justice League Season 1. And then we have Season 2, which I noticed doesn't have a security sticker on top. That's kind of interesting. Um, very uncharacteristic of them to do that. Let's... Uh, Open her up here. Okay, there we go. Around and around we go. Where she stops, well, it's pretty obvious because the saran wrap is off. Okay, so here, well, we do have a disc falling out. No damage, though. But uh, thanks to Blu-ray's anti-stick coating. Oh, this one's kind of interesting. They did more, no insert this time. Well, they did more sort of uh, silhouetted takes on the characters. I don't know, maybe it's a slightly darker season or something. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So they kind of went a little bit more uh, plain Jane with the packaging for season two. But that's okay. I've got 52 episodes of Justice League to watch in freaking high definition, man. That's awesome. I, I'm speechless. That, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Justin. I am going to have a blast with these. 
Um, this is a series I've been wanting to check out for a very long time. And then, let's check out the little, little tiny number three. Let's see what we got here. I have no idea what this is, a USB stick or something maybe? Of some kind? Secret message perhaps? Oh, micro 16 gigabyte. 16 gigabyte? Holy crap, that just clicked. <laughs> That's a lot of gigabytes. Wow. Well, let's, um, I can't really pop it in the USB drive because I'm capturing right now, but, uh, let me, uh, let me save this part of the video. I'll quickly take a peek at what's on here and then I'll fill you guys in. I'll just be a moment. Aha! It's the first 18 episodes of Young Justice in high definition. Sadly, the series has not been released on Blu-ray yet. I just did a quick Amazon search. Um, there have been three volumes released on, on DVD, but uh, no sign of a Blu-ray release yet, which is kind of odd for a current show, you know. Oh well. Anyway, uh, again, haven't seen Young Justice, but now at least I can check it out until, uh, you know, waiting for the Blu-ray to come out. That's awesome. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you very much. It'll be a really, really exciting shoe. Okay. Alrighty, now, now we can get into the spoilers and actually uh, check out the rest here. Um, I kind of wanted to stop the video there anyway because of what happened when I did uh, the package opening for Frank's where it crashed in the middle of it, so I'm all paranoid now. I, I don't want to lose package opening footage again like that. That was awful. Okay, um, number one, from kal -El himself, wrapped at the Fortress of Solitude, and stamped with his logo. Uh, yeah. There we go. Ta-da! You can tell it was wrapped in the Fortress of Solitude because it has snowflakes all over it. <laughs> um, Justice League, Season 1 on Blu-ray. I know you're concentrating pretty hard on Marvel animation as of late and wanted to make sure that you didn't forget the DC animated side of things. Oh, believe me, I haven't, as you'll see in some upcoming uh, updates, or if you've been paying attention on the Facebook page, which I know you do. Um, this was one of my favorite animated shows, behind Batman the Animated Series and, and the 90s X-Men, of course, and I got my hands on the entire series recently, much to my delight. DC is slow to re release these on Blu-ray, however. The astonishing... er... Bleh. DC is slow to release these on Blu-ray, however, the entire series exists on a DVD box set for an astonishingly low price of $75, which is less than a dollar an episode. But who'd settle for anything less than $1080? Exactly. Yeah, I saw that they had the complete series set, which uh, is quite reasonably priced, and it also includes Justice League Unlimited, but... Um yeah, I mean, as soon as I heard that the Blu-ray sets were coming out, I thought, well, I'm just going to wait for the rest of them to come out on Blu-ray, and I'll get those. You know, and now I don't have to. Thank you. <laughs> Number two, from the estate of Bruce Wayne himself, Justice League Season 2 on Blu-ray. This set continues the story for the next astonishing 26 episodes, but unfortunately, this is where the Blu-ray trip ends. These are all the Blu-rays that have been released so far. Yeah, I know, Season 2 just came out fairly recently. Um, and I know there was quite a long gap between the two seasons because I, I pay attention on the, the you know the, the websites that tell you the release dates of stuff and whatnot. Uh, in particular, TV shows on DVD.com, which is an awesome website, and uh, that's where I first heard about these. And um, yeah, I know a lot of fans were wondering for a long time when season two was coming. And uh, well, finally it came. Now we just got to wait for. I guess there was three seasons, if I remember correctly. So yeah. These are all the Blu-rays that have been released so far. Keep your eyes open for the remaining two seasons. All I had to do was keep reading. Of Justice League Unlimited to complete your collection. Oh, okay. So this actually is the complete series of Justice League. So next up is Justice League Unlimited. Gotcha. See, this is how unfamiliar I am with it. I just completely missed it when it was originally on. I hope to see a review of this series in the coming months. Well, I'll do my best. I've got a lot, I've got a lot of stuff to watch, but... Uh, being on a comic book uh, kick lately, I'll probably uh, watch these fairly soon, for sure. Um, finally, number three. This tiny flash drive is packing some heat. It's the first 18 episodes, all currently aired episodes, of the new DC show Young Justice in glorious HD, in MKV format, of course. 
This show follows the sidekicks, Robin, Miss Martin, Aqualad, etc., as they try to prove themselves for the Justice League. I recently upgraded to a 32 gig flash drive and decided to gift you my old 16 gig model. Well, thank you. Uh, that's actually an upgrade to me because the only ones I have are uh, 4 gigs a piece. So this is like four of them in one. That's awesome. I'll definitely get some use out of that. Um, do, 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 do. I don't have a Blu-ray burner and the show is too new to have any DVD releases. Well, actually it does have DVD releases, but no Blu-ray releases. So this is still going to be better quality than the DVDs. I hate it when they do that, when a show is clearly high def, but they don't put it out on Blu-ray. Like, come on, get on with it, do it. You put all the direct to DVD and Blu-ray movies on Blu-ray, but why not the shows, you know? It's, it just, just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so I thought it best just to send the flash drive. Uh, Rosie might even enjoy this as the children are younger and she might like watching, although most of the jokes will probably still go over her head. Hopefully this will pique your interest and you'll be able to decide whether or not this show is something you like. If you do like it, I hope to see a review. Actually, Rosie does like a lot of the superhero stuff. We've seen some superhero stuff, like, as you, as I think you'll recall, uh, I mentioned she really liked the old 60s Marvel cartoons. She actually really likes the 90s animated series of Spider-Man. We've watched a few episodes of that. Um, she just loves Spider-Man. She hardly knows anything about Spider-Man, but just something about it really clicked with her, and she really likes it. So we'll probably check out uh, check out some of these uh, together for sure. Uh, I look forward to seeing more great content in the weeks and months to come. I hope you and Rosie have a safe and happy holiday season. Justin Looney. Awesome. Wow. Well, that is a fantastic package. Thank you very, very much, Justin. I'm absolutely going to uh, have a blast checking those out, seeing what I've been missing from the Bruce Tim uh, Iverse. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I've the, I've always been a huge fan of uh, uh, Batman the Animated Series, obviously. Uh, I really liked what little I saw of Superman the Animated Series. That's another one I've got to pick up one of these days. And, um, yeah, great stuff. Oh, excuse me. I'm not bored. It's just late, and I work today, and I work tomorrow, so I should probably get to bed already. Thank you once again. I can't possibly thank you enough. That's that's fantastic. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. That is it from me to you for now. So thanks for watching. And those of you who are wondering, yes, this is my Darth Vader shirt. I got this last Christmas. Very nice. Which has absolutely nothing to do with Justice League whatsoever, but it's a cool shirt, so I figured what the hell. Uh, you may have noticed for the package openings, I like to dress a little differently just to, I don't know, just to mix things up a little bit. Anyway, that's it for me to you for now, folks. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara.